Here's the stretching routines for guitar. I am not gonna do the whole thing where we hold it for eight seconds long. Uh, just for the sake of making a shorter video, you can hold each of these stretches um, on your own for eight seconds and taking a breath and a rest uh, between each. So the first stretch is going to be the next stretch. And the reason we're doing this is because the signal gets sent from your brain through your spine and out to your fingertips and we need to keep that signal um, flowing strong and we need to have the muscles able to move well so this will help you do that so we start by stretching the neck you can reach down with this hand as you pull and stretch both sides eight seconds each after that the next muscle group is going to be the back of your sh shoulders so you're going to pull that for eight seconds. Only stretch to where it feels like a good stretch, not to where there's pain. Other arm. Make sure you do these longer than me, eight seconds each. Um, after that, we're going to move into the opposite, which is the chest and the insides of the arm. So that one will help you with that stretch. Then the next stretch after that is going to be moving into the triceps right here. So by pulling the top of your elbow down, that stretch for eight seconds each side. Then after you've done those, you move into uh, what I, one of my favorite stretches for guitar, which is putting your arm against the hand against the wall like this. And then you twist backwards. So I'll show you here. Yeah. Like that. Then you twist like this, which opens up the whole inside of the arm way down to the wrist and into the thumb and the fingers. That one is probably the best stretch I've ever done for guitar. So here on both sides, hold for eight seconds and leaning away as your arm is pressing straight out against the wall, right? <clears throat> okay, after you've done that, you're moving down into your forearm muscle groups so that you can pull the forearm this way or you can pull the back of your knuckle this way. Well, I would do both. You always wanna do opposing muscle groups. So if you do this side, then you do this side, right? This side, this side, this side, this side. Um, forearm. Forward and back again, but again, do these eight seconds long each. The next is going to be your thumb stretches because the tendons and the nerves go through a really small area in here in your wrist, and you want to keep that uh, relaxed and, and free and not tight and uh, having things stuck in there. So you pull your thumb, both hands. Then you can do the massage where you press against the harder base of the thumb muscle then out to each finger, always starting from that center part of your wrist and then stretching or massaging to the end of each fingertip. Same thing with the other hand. I'm going really fast here just to give you an idea. You can take it nice and slow and it'll It'll probably do a better job for you. The other thing is, uh, you know, squeezes for tension and release, and then squeezing out for tension and release. Just like when you prepare for a sport, you want to prepare for guitar playing, uh, especially if you're doing more involved and more intense guitar playing. If you're loose, relaxed, and stretched, you have much less chance of getting an injury. So repeat any of these stretches throughout the day if they're really helpful. But try the whole routine before you play uh, a really good guitar practice and uh, you might notice a big difference in your playing. So have fun.